Hey, what's guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me. And yeah, so in this video, we're going to be doing a review on the Rebel Amp. Yeah, this one looks like I'm front. And then in the back. So, uh, this is a Class A amp. Uh, if you don't know what that means, um, I'll try to explain it. <laughs> uh, my my definition is probably not that good either. But it means that it is consuming a lot of power, so it is working 100%. So it's not like, you know, oh, you know, the volume knob, you know, like if you put it to its max volume knob, it's working 100%. No, even in its lowest, it is working 100%. So it is doing the maximum even in its lowest. So how does that translate in the music? Uh, so that means, you know, even the little details or the quietest parts or even stuff in the background sounds more louder, you know, sounds more amplified. So since it's working 100%, it gets warm, you know? So that, that's why it, it's got a lot of vents over here. So yeah, it does get warm. Uh, don't cover it. <laughs> it's like... Um, I do put my deck here, but like it's not taking all over the the holes over here. You know, it's taking you know like at least you know this much, but at least there's air flowing. So uh, yeah, do not do not ever cover this. Uh, I don't know <laughs> what will happen. I think um everything anything that is on top of it will melt <laughs> because it does get warm. So uh yeah, it is built like a tank. The construction in this amp, I love it. It, it it feels so strong, you know? Like, even, like, everything, the way it's built, everything, it's just good. I, I didn't re I, I I just realized I, this thing was attached. Yeah, didn't know that. Didn't realize that. Uh, yeah, even the switch. They s these switches sound amazing. Look at this. Look at this. Hear it. Hear it. Let me put it close to the... Yeah, hear it. Look. This one sounds louder right here. Like, you can hear the echo through the uh, amp over here. But yeah, with its build quality, you can't help but call this, like, an analog device, you know, with its switches, with its amazing construction, you know? It, it feels like an item that was made either in the 80s or 90s. <laughs> this feels like, you know, something maybe my dad used or... You know, something I bought from the garage sale, you know, it's like, oh, uh, yeah, my, my dad used it. Uh, you know, he doesn't want it. I don't want it. So that's why I'm selling it. So, yeah, amazing. It feels amazing. So, yeah, let's tour around the amp. So here's the volume knob, six millimeter, uh, high, low, medium, pre-outs on or off. Now the back, RCA in and RCA pre-out. So you can... You know, uh, control the uh, speakers out of this amp. So, uh, yeah, six millimeter. Um, I'm fine with it. I can see some people being annoyed, like, damn, man, I only got a balance connector. Uh, but for me, I'm fine with it because, you know, I got uh, heart audio. I got heart audio, so, you know, I got all of the connectors. So, I'm good. I don't got to get buy another uh, cable for each of my headphones. Uh, gains, uh, you know, high, low, medium. Lows in the middle. Why? What I heard is, you know, they don't want people accidentally going high. Which, you know, kind of strange because, you know, high is more closer if you have it low. But I think their logic is most people are going to use the medium game. So they put it all the way. So, you know, it takes two flicks to go high. So, you know, if an accident were to occur... It wouldn't be so dangerous. So it's like, ooh, oh, oh man, if, if low was high, my ears would have been bleeding and my headphones, they would have exploded. So yeah, uh, I see I see the logic. Yeah, it's 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 okay. I, I get the logic right there. Uh pre, uh I I I actually never used the speakers because I don't I don't I don't got speakers in front of my monitor. So yeah, if 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 you're wondering. What does it sound like in speakers with this? I have no idea. So you're going to have to ask someone else. So, uh, yeah. Now, let's talk about the audio. So, what does it sound like? And does it sound good? Uh, the reason why I got this amp is because it was a Class A amp. Because I wanted that Class A back. 
Uh, I used to own a Class A amp. It was the Oon X7S. Um, I know some of you guys are probably saying that wasn't a real Class A, but you know it, it, it sounded good. You know, at the time when I got it, I loved it. But uh, the THX AAA 7989s came out, and it was better than that. Um, there were I, I I did go back to the Oon because there was just a few things it did better than the THX. But overall, you know, I was like, all right, you got, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm no longer going to use you that heavy. So, uh, yeah, I, you know, I, I, I didn't throw it away. I actually put it in my, my bedroom, you know, uh, my bedroom, they have speakers and I use it as a, uh, pre out, you know, controlling the volume knob and it sounds pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I wanted a class A back. So, you know, I was kind of like wandering and looking around like, all right, what, what, what class A am? is good out there right now. There were a few, but overall I chose this. Uh, there was the shit Asgard uh, threes, but you know, uh, I don't know. I was like, this, there was a lot of people like using this. There was a lot of people using this and was actually surprised. So I was kind of like, you know what? Let, let's give the, um, Let's give the brand, the new brand, you know, a, a try because you know, shit, you know, shit audio, you know, they're they're everywhere. They're they're well known in the audio space. But this one, this is a new player, the Rebel Amp. So I was like, you know, I want to I want to give the underdog a chance. So I got it, and it sounds really good. Um, I thought because it was a Class A amp. I thought it was going to have a warm toning sound. But actually, it doesn't, surprisingly. It is actually as neutral as the THX AAA 789s. And I was like, wait, what? And and also, the distortion. It's not as close to the AAA 789s, but it's close. It This, this sounds like a Class A version of the THX but more analog it, it it sounds like you know an HD tube sound and it was like wait what <laughs> like like that's that's so confusing it's kind of like you know uh comparing two cameras it's like a digital camera that can make film like pictures it's like wait what it's as sharp as a digital camera but it has, you know, the grain, the uh, characteristics, the warm tones, the colors as a film. It's like, huh? Wait, what? Really? <laughs> it's like, I, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm amazed. Like, how, how is that possible? You know, it's it's like it's like both at the same time with this one. It is as sharp as the THX, but it doesn't sound as digital as the THX. You know, it it, it sounds more. Well, I've never heard tubes. But I would imagine these sound tubier. You know, it sounds very neutral. Very, no, no, not neutral, natural, you know? And it is amazing, you know? And also, it's very dynamic. It's like, it's very energetic, you know? Like, you could feel the power. Even when you have, like, easy to drive headphones, you could feel it. Examples like with my Focal Elex, these are easy to drive headphones. On the THX, it sounds great, but like in the peak volume, the volume which where I think it's perfect, it starts to distort. You know, the driver, you know, starts to flicker, you know, especially on bassy music. And, you know, it's like, ah, oh, man, that's disappointing. Uh, you know, like the peak where it sounds amazing, I can't really hear it because it's, you know, it, it starts, you know, getting muddy. But with this one, because it's Class A, anywhere in the volume knob, depending on, you know, your headphone, you know, how easy to drive or how low or high it needs to be. Anywhere, the sound is in its peak. Everything is working 100%. Uh, so, yeah, I, in mid-review, I was like, all right, I, I got to go back, all right? Like, it's it's like I, I, couldn't, I couldn't last a few minutes without, uh, you know, hearing this. Uh, I already got my THX connected, but it's like, Nah, it's not the same. <laughs> it's it's not it's not as good as this. So um yeah by by by. So yeah by the way I'm talking about this amp, I love it. It's a great amp. 
Uh, let me let me talk about the sound. So, it is a neutral sounding uh, amp. I was very surprised because you know when I heard Class A, I think oh it's gonna have a warmer type of tone, but it doesn't. It has the same tone as the THX, which I was confused because I assumed you know the THX you know there there was a lot of technology that to go th you know through making that amp you know with um the THX uh whatever whatever you call it like um license or. Whatever they had to do a lot of stuff to you know lower the distortion you know like this was this was the amp that changed the hi-fi industry you know like now every amp is as low distortion as the THX or at least they try to be but nah this one is as low distortion as a THX the as all right and not not the same level like like I think they don't make it low as distortion because you know that's when it sounds too digital and too sharp like it, it feels unnatural but like you know this one tries to sound as modern as an amp but at the same time as old school and i appreciate it i love it you know uh, you know like you know we're in the days where you know everything is you know it, everything's too perfect these days and you know just having a little bit of imperfection doesn't make it bad you know that like that's why so many people are going back to using analog devices like you know vinyl or film cameras you know like people are kind of like you know want something unique you know they want a different experience people want to feel and hear something different and that's what they get with those devices and that's what they get from here but like it's it's crazy that it's a modern slash Retro device. I'm I'm gonna keep repeating that. I know, but uh, yeah, real love this. Uh, so let's talk about um, headphones. Uh, so I got three headphones. I got my you know HD six XX, my Elex, and also I forgot them. I forgot to show you guys this in my Oon review, but uh, yeah, my Aeon flute, Aeon two flows. So yeah, don't really use it as much because I just, I, I thought I was going to love this because it's closed back, but um, it's it's looking like I'm not liking the closed back because I can't hear myself talk. So recording with this headphone on is just a little hard, you know, like it's, I, I, I just make a lot of mistakes when I, when I can't hear my own voice, so... I still use it. I, I I love listening to this to hear, especially. I really thought I was going to love this because, you know, it's closed back. Oh, I can isolate the, the audio around me and I can focus, focus on my editing. Nah, man. Not really, but like, damn, man. Especially in recording, I, I can't use this, sadly. You know, so, um, yeah, very good. It, it's really good uh, listening to um uh, a lot of like um Latino music. A lot of, uh, and also rock and punk sounds amazing here. Uh, basically, a lot of, like, 80s music sound amazing here. But other genres, you know, n not as good, but, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty good still, but better. Um, and also, you gotta have, uh, good music that was recorded well, or how do you say it? Mastered well? You know, like, it, it will det detect the imperfections in this, so... Yeah, don't buy this if you know you're listening to you're listening in this in Spotify, you know. But um, yeah, very good on that. This that in this. Uh, but yeah, my HD six XX. Um, this HD six XX they sound different on any amp, you know. Like they 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 do a lot of changes when you switch the amps. In my TXX. That sound good. The Elex was king. I was like, oh my god, this is a this is a huge upgrade. And I just been ninety percent of my of my um, um of my listens are in the Elex with the THX, barely in this. But in this, um, it adds more soundstage on this headphone, and it kind it just kind of fucks it up. It's like, oh 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 no, like. There was enough soundstage and enough closeness to the music to where it was perfect. But adding a little bit of soundstage for me, it was like, uh, no. Ah, oh, man, I, I still like listening to my Elex, but like, you know, comparing to, to this HD6XX, 
it it changed a lot. It almost it it is almost as good as the Alex with the THX. You know, this is basically the Alex. <laughs> you know, uh, but yeah, sound amazing. You know, like that's why I still keep my my HD six XS because you know the, if I get another amp, I know for a fact that you know this is gonna be different on it. So yeah, amazing on these uh, six HD six XX. What else I gotta say? Um, power? Uh, I don't have anything that needs a lot of power, I think. I'm not sure. I think my Dan Clark's, the Aeon 2 Flows, need a lot of power. But, I don't know. I, I never, I never really, I never really, like, um, thought, man, this could be better on a pow more powerful amp. It, it, it ran well in the THX. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was because... This has more power. It sound better. I don't know. Like in the in the THX, it sounded good, but in here it sounded amazing. But I'm not sure if that was because of you know it, it had more power. Maybe it was. I don't know. I, I like. I'm not too sure, guys. But uh, yeah. I love the amp. It's a great amp. The 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 built, the sound, uh, the switches. Is amazing. I I love it. Yeah, it is. It it is basically replacing my THX. Uh, I'm barely I'm barely using the THX. Like I'm really like you know like thinking, damn. Um, what am I do with you? <laughs> it's like, damn. It's like it's like I'm. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't think of anal analogies. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about the price of this. That's the only thing. That is hard to recommend. This costs six hundred dollars, five ninety nine, free shipping. Uh, back then, it was like around. I think it was like five hundred, four ninety nine. But the shipping was a hundred. But the, I, I think you know he basically said, "All right, yeah, just fuck it, uh, free shipping." But yeah, I'm, a, I'm just gonna put the shipping in the price of the amp. So yeah, would I recommend it for that price? Uh, I, I don't think so, man. Like I like I said, it's basically the THX Class A. You know, you get that Class A uh, sound, and you get the uh, the detail and the distortion of the THX. They're basically the same, but this this is obviously better. I'm trying to what I'm trying to say. But the thing is, is like, would I recommend this to instead? I mean. Would I recommend this than the, the the THX? The THX is a little bit more cheaper. I think it's like three fifty. I think. So it's like, uh, would I recommend if you got no money? Yeah, I guess to get the THX. But like, I don't know. Like, uh, here's the thing. I'm not completely sure. You know, I I think six hundred is a lot. Uh, obviously, get a discount. I think it's worth. Uh, lower like four ninety nine. The the previous price it had, yeah, it was worth it. It was like, oh yeah, get get it for four hundred. Yep, it's a, it's a steal. But like, oh actually, no, no, it's five hundred. Five hundred? I'm not sure. That's a uh, that's a little bit too steep. I bought this for I think four fifty. It was in an auction, a bidding in eBay. I got this for four fifty. I think. I don't know. It's it's very hard. Like. Uh, like I said, I don't have that much um, my headphones to experiment. Like, is it power enough, powerful enough to power a lot of headphones? If it is, yeah, get this, you know. Um, but I love it. For four fifty, what I got, it's worth the price. Five hundred, uh, yeah, sure. But six hundred, um, I I I don't know. At six at the at the six hundred range, there's a lot of like competitors. I think I, I'm not too sure. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm no longer in the um, uh, I'm no longer searching for you know amps to buy because this is enough. I might buy a tube, and maybe I'll buy another like amp that is specifically for like you know super clear. So maybe the a the topping A ninety, but that's a that's an amp that I'm probably gonna hundred percent get <laughs> once I get the money. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I love it. Six hundred is not worth it. Five hundred and lower, it is. Four fifty is amazing price. Four hundred, yeah, it, it, it's it's good. All right, six hundred is too expensive. So yeah, that's all I gotta say.
So uh, yeah, go uh, go check my main channel. You know, um, check my other videos. Uh, you know, check my uh, Oon review that I did. And uh, yeah, bye.